Hi, this is a video I promised last week on the uh, Bug Assault Shredder versus the uh, Crossman Vigilante that I got. Um, as I had mentioned in the previous video, I got the uh, Bug Assault as a birthday gift for my son. I've had the other Bug Assault products and I absolutely loved it. And uh, while I didn't know he paid $150 when he bought it, he did. I had a lot of fun. I probably had $150 worth of fun. But then I went and got the Crossman Vigilante uh, about a week ago and uh, left me with more questions than answers. One of the first was, I had already seen this online that I could take the uh, normal reloads and it doesn't have that cute little arrow, but if I line the barrel up with that top circle, well, works just fine. No problem at all. So, this $50 Crossman Vigilante does what uh, the Bug Assault does. Now, it will also do things the Bug Assault won't do because you can just as easily load in pellets. And well, that one went through several layers of cardboard and bounced off my workbench over there. But again, you get the idea. It's a pellet gun and it's also a BB gun if you use the other cartridge. So, this is a toy. This is an adult toy. It was made for people just like me who would be willing to spend $150 to get this toy that I would use. Now, some people may say it's not a toy. Well, it's yellow, it's orange, it looks like a Nerf, reminds me of my childhood, and to me, it's kind of a toy. Now, here's the problem. My toy does one thing, which is shoot salt. At $150, I want it to do more things. For instance, on these uh, cartridges, I want to be able to fi shoot fine salt. I want to be able to shoot coarse salt. I want to be able to shoot salt with a single lead BB in there that would take out a lizard or something like that. I want to be able to shoot pellets. So with that said, I made it possible to shoot pellets. And here's what you do. Keep in mind what I'm about to show you is going to avoid the warranty. But of course, as a child, I did a lot of things with my Legos and Tonka trucks that also avoided their warranty. So I'm okay with that. I will never send this back to the manufacturer. So I take out these two tiny little bitty screws here. And what I've got uh, is this front cap that comes off and a thing that looks almost like a limp noodle. Anyway, that's the barrel right there. Now, that's just a piece of plastic. It is 177 on the inside. It's the right size for a pellet. However, you have two things standing in the way. It's, again, just kind of a little piece of plastic. It's not rifled or anything. And on top of that, they got that little piece of plastic across the front that separates a bug assault from a pellet gun. Now, there's plenty of jurisdictions out there where you can't have a pellet gun. You go and add in a steel barrel and start shooting pellets, it would be illegal. So don't do it, okay? But if you're not in one of those jurisdictions, you have a $150 or $200 bug assault, and you want to have a lot more fun with it, do this. Everything I'm going to show you is stuff you can do yourself. I've done it here in my own garage. First thing I did was make a bunch of barrels. And I also made them idiot proof. By that, one end has a, a bevel, which makes it much easier for the pellets to go into and be fired. So red goes to the front, green goes to the back. Okay. Well, what about that pesky little blue or little piece of plastic? Well, got a fix for that too. This is a drill guide. Because you don't want to go and run a drill sideways in this thing and mess it up. Here I am holding a drill guide. There's the hole in the back. There's me putting this in the hole in the back. So I set that down, preferably on a piece of wood. I run the drill down through that hole nice and slow. It pops that little plastic piece. It's gone forever. And at that point, I can put this thing back together with this barrel and I'll be able to fire pellets rock salt, chip salt, we're not talking big chunks of rock salt, but little chips rather than powdered salt, or anything else that you might want to fire through it. So, with that said, let's do it. So, green at the back, put that barrel on in there, line everything up. This next part I may not be able to quite do on the uh, camera because I'm going to need to stand it upright so that I can put these two screws in. We'll get those two started. Talk amongst yourselves. It'll take a second. There we go. One screw and two screw. And just like that, 
I now have the ability to shoot salt, just like it's always been able to do. Line that sucker up, and let's fire some salt. There we go, nice little chunks of salt. Now, one thing I have noticed is with that little piece of plastic gone and it didn't disperse in the salt, I got much tighter groups for that salt close up, and it works as I'm going further out, because before that piece of plastic kind of dispersed it. And with rock salt, it flat cuts holes through stuff. But since I can also fit the Vigilante's black cylinder in here, line that little sucker up, hole with the barrel, I can fire pellets. There we go. Just fired a pellet through the box. But wait, there's more. It would almost be like this thing was made for pellets, because here's one of the bug assault ones that I've already used up. Uh, I've shot all the, the salt through it. I just cleaned the paper out of the way. And there it is holding a bunch of bright, shiny pellets. They fit in, they don't fall out. It's actually a fairly snug fit. The fit is actually very much like this. Kind of funny, they look almost identical. Anyway, um, they go in there nice and snug, they fit. What I happen to do is I set it down, I put the pellets in, I take a screwdriver and push a little so they're seated at the very front, so there's a little bit less resistance. But with that said, they're in there snug. They're not coming out. But now you want to know, will it do any good as a pellet gun? Well, it's got a couple things going for it. One is I used a rifled steel barrel, so it's going to have a rifling that puts a spin on that pellet. It's going to be fairly accurate. It's also a micro-grooved barrel. That means instead of having a bunch of lands that are real big where the air can get in around them, with a micro-groove, the pellet fills up all the space so all the air stays behind it until it's out of the barrel. This is going to speed it up a little bit rather than having an old-style barrel with the lands and grooves being a little bit bigger and lets a little air escape around it. So, once again, you probably want to see this work. So, what I'm going to do here is move these things around just a little bit and right there is my test microwave i have shot that up a whole bunch over the last couple videos but now what i've got is a pellet gun let's we'll see if we can do a little bit of damage i would say that did a little bit of damage I found it to be very, very accurate. Let's get this sucker turned around again. I found it to be very, very accurate. Uh, pretty powerful. I don't see much of a difference between it and the uh, Vigilant. I guess I don't need that concentrating on that. Let me see if I can bring the picture back out some. There we go. Uh, to me, it and the Vigilante feel just about the same as far as the amount of power coming out of them. Um, I can use its cylinder to fire pellets. I can use the Vigilante cylinder to fire pellets. I can fire salt in the Vigilante. I can fire anything that I want to put in these things right down through the barrel. So with that said, I've got a few of these shredder unopened containers of uh, cylinders and I'll never use them. So what's up on eBay right now is one of these at $25 as an auction. If you guys feel it's only worth $25 for what I'm fixing to show you, pay 25. If somebody else thinks they're willing to pay more, they'll bid it up. If it gets bid up high enough, I'll probably even go to the second and third bidder and supply them with the same thing. You get the uh, unopened 12 pack. You get the barrel. You get the barrel guide. You get a reload kit with about 200 of these discs and the other parts that you need to be able to reload these things about a hundred times. That is what's on eBay right now. And if it does well, I'll list it again and again. If you have questions, please let me know. Uh, there will be instructions with that. But again, it was also quite simple. I just showed you how to do it on the actual video. But I'm always happy to answer questions. So through eBay or through YouTube, if you have any questions, please let me know. Anyway, take care and have fun with your bug assault.